Hi there guys and welcome to Hacksploit. On today's video we're going to have a quick look at the new Kali Linux that's just been released, uh, Kali 2.0. Um, this is the first time I've seen it as well, I've just literally installed it uh, and we're here at the login page as you can see. Um, let's have a quick look. So yeah, the login page looks slightly different from before, same sort of splash design with a little logo in the background there. Uh, you've got the username field, uh, date and time. A few new options up the top here by the looks of it. Uh, looks like we can control the audio from here, uh, our connection, uh, and I'm presuming that's going to be to uh, shut down, power off the machine, etc. Uh, choose your language and obviously your accessibility options. Okay, so let's uh, have a login. This is the first time I've logged in, so I've not actually seen it as of yet. Uh, obviously, I've not created an account, so I'm going to have to log in as the root account. Okay, let's see what it's like. So let's just let that load up. It probably will be a little bit slow with it being the first time we've logged in. It's probably got to set my account up. Okay, great. We're at the desktop. Oh, wow. It looks completely different. Uh, I mean, the same sort of layout at the top there, but we've got these sort of tiles down the side. Uh, Ice Weasel, Terminal, Files, etc. Oh, they look quite cool. Uh, show Applications. I do apologise. This might go on a little bit of a, of a go slow because I am using it virtually. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's very much sort of um, the new sort of Ubuntu style, the uh, sort of Unity layout. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, frequent, so I'm presuming as if we were to use applications, obviously within here we can use frequ the uh, frequent ones will update. Um, it actually that it actually looks quite window not window sorry, uh, iOS. Just sort of realised, but. That looks pretty cool. That little terminal, yep. Wireshark. Alright, that looks pretty cool. Uh, and I'm presuming what you can do is, yep, you can remove these from your favourite. So, you, oh, it gets a bit bigger as you remove them. So, you can create your, sort of your own little list here of what applications you want to use. Uh, obviously, at the top here looks like we've got applicate. Oh, that's, that's different as well. Okay, so you can obviously do it through that way, but obviously, we've got applications here. Uh, I quite like the idea that you've got obviously your, your selection on the side here. Uh, and then it comes up with like little icons and makes it a lot easier to look at than it was before when it was sort of just all like text. Um, there doesn't seem to be many tools under information. I wonder if we click on it if we'll get more. Alright, yeah. So if you click on it, obviously underneath you get the little subdirectory with with everything else on it. Um, the knots are pretty. It looks like, yeah. Oh no, some of the, it appears that some of the main ones have the uh, the icons while as the other ones just use the sort of standard uh, Kali logo. So that's pretty cool. Uh, password attacks, yeah, pretty much the same. So yeah, the layout is is really different. What's this? What's this here? Oh, sweet. Okay, so you can actually, by the looks of it, uh, built into it, you've got some um, recording software, and um, so you can start actually recording directly inside it. And um, so I might actually try that out. Actually, on the next video, I'll record rather than using the uh, the screen capture software I'm using here. I'll actually record from within Kali itself and see what it's like. Uh, delay time options. Let's have a look. Um, okay, easy screencast. Uh, okay, choose your area. Options, frames per second. Smile. Where you want to save it. G streamer pipeline. Alright, okay. That's pretty cool. That must be here. Yeah. Uh, so under places, we've obviously got our normal place or home. All right. Okay. So the sort of the the design of the icons for the folders is slightly different. Um, let's have a quick look. Obviously, you'll be able to choose your own uh, wallpaper. But let's just have a quick look at what the stock wallpaper is that we get with this. Um, okay. So all right. Okay. So let's go for background to begin with. Okay. So I think some of these were available in the in the in the last version, but it's pretty cool. Oh, pictures, there we are. And it looks like you can customise your lock screen as well. So there's some different sort of graphics for your lock screen. Uh, lock, lock screen. Let's just test. We'll try that one. Uh, is that, yeah, that's changed. Okay, so if I go up here, and I presume that is lock. All right. Yep. So it's 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 locked, and the lock screen looks uh, slightly different. It actually looks a little bit Windows. Uh, yeah, it does look very much Windows. So I think, uh, yeah, we just pull, we pull it up, and then to unlock. All 
All right, cool. Yeah, that looks that looks really really good. I'm quite impressed with it. it looks, it's a different sort of layout. Um, gonna have a little bit of a sort of mess around with it. Um, see what the tools are right. I mean, I presume they'll all look the same. Yeah, it's all gonna look the same. Terminals exactly the same. Yep. So that was a quick overview of the uh, new Cali 2.0. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give us a like. And if you want to follow us for more videos, make sure you subscribe. Any comments or questions, just drop them below. Uh, and thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.